what's happening guys and I start out this episode by saying for sure the fishing has been tough not according to my expectations um, but when all else fails swim baits are probably one of the most successful lures to use Paul would probably agree with me right Paul because I've been throwing crankbaits I've been throwing even call lives any hard baits throw it out of the window when I buy the stuff the swim baits are the key uh, particularly some like by live target or even by say Kitek. it's something that I always knew worked and I threw down and I mean it was immediate when it's all said and done swim baits are something to go to even with some flash but mostly swim baits just on quarter ounce jig heads and as you'll see and as I'm gonna explain some of these casts now our waters have particularly this year been super clear so swim baits have been a saving grace to get into some of these fish primarily ones that have kind of like a see-through lighter tone or anything really dark to mimic like a maybe a minnow or even a leech so so we're gonna get out there and work some of these swim baits so you can see what we're talking about Alrighty guys, first cost. Alright, this is perfect, Paul. I can actually cast right to the wall. Comparing this. Now let's slay him, Paul. Oh my. No. I got a light jig on. I'm not even close to bottom. Got him. Oh, crap. I got something, guys. I'm not sure what it is. It's a carp, maybe. Oh, he's pulling hard, Paul. You think it is? Nick, it's over here now. Can't believe it. Ooh, what was it, Nick? It just surfaced. Look at that, Nick, right in the mouth. They like eating this. It's awesome. Keeper? Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, he's got a walleye, and I've got a... Jeez, stop. Stop trying, or I'll let you go. Get him, get him, get him, quick. Get him. Here, I got him. You can go fish. Got him on that Tinsy tickle. That minnow works, guys. I mean, I've been catching all kinds of species with this. Or do you want to work it back a little bit now that you saw what we caught? Yeah, you So we are all on the board. Let's see if we can hook a crappie. Oh crap. I had the rods back there. I can. You got one? Oh. I got one, guys. Right in front of the boat. That's a crappie, I think, now, Paul. I think so. Feels like a giant too. It's a keeper. That's for sure. Tinsy tickle. Tinsy tickle tackle. Oh, he came out himself. Nineteen on the dot. He must be slaying it with wiper over there, not moving. Just working it slow. All right, guys, it's really simple. What I'm doing here is I just cast and uh, leave it for just a second, not too long. 
especially if there's a rock pile areas because you're gonna get snagged. Just let it pause for a few seconds. Reel in, pause, lift the rod tip up. Lift the rod tip up. Just working all parts of that water column. So yeah, get yourself some Roadrunner jig heads with a blade underspin, either at 1 16th or 1 32. And uh, anywhere from 1.5 to 3 inch. Catches any species, really. Oh no, it would be popular with some crowd somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, no mosquitoes now. I don't think so, at least. Got him, Paul. Z-Man. I bet he's a, he devoured it, dude. He swallowed it down to the gullet. Oh, he's a bleeder. Paul, he's a 16 and 3 quarters, man. Cool. I need to catch three more and I got my limit, huh? All right. Good job, sir. Bring it over here, over here. Ever? Seventeen and a half. All right. Oh, it's sunny. But with the Kai Tech, what we're gonna do is cast it all the way out there. We let the line run until it stops going down. Like right there, it's it's down already. It's on the bottom. So I'm just gonna retrieve it slow, slow and lift the tip. Lifting that tip just gives it more action. And now since the water is clear, we're in deep water because when we were in six to eight feet, we could see the bottom, and they can spook those fish. The birds can see those fish, so those fish will seek deeper refuge. That's all there is to it. That is true. Yeah, dinky though. Dinky while I. Oh, he's not a dinky, he's not a dinky. Got it? Yeah, I do. Kai Tech guys, they like that Kai Tech. I know y'all know that already. He's about 16, uh, 15 and three quarters. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got your back. Man, I got that bite. I thought I had a freaking swiper. <laughs> oh man, I got so excited, y'all. Y'all. 16 and a half. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And guys, the swim baits you fish, kind of takes you fish like any other swim bait. I let it hit the bottom and slowly retrieve so it looks like a fish feeding on the bottom of the lake. You can tell you're down there because the line will stop moving. And we're down. And then just slow retrieve. I don't quite let it drag, but just kind of keep it a few inches right above. Me freaking two. Got him. 
Oh no. Oh, he hit it hard. I just need him to come back and hit it again. My God, that was a hard hit. Man, you would think that one of our gulp lives down there. I'm not sure it was on that kite. I can't tell. Uh, I don't know now. It is. Keeper. <laughs> if all else fails, swim bait does the trick, doesn't it, Paul? It is 17 on the all right, guys, my last one. Bite. Bite. Yeah, I had a bite. Oh, dude, I saw that. Get him. Dude, that's got to be a wiper, Paul. Because that's what they do. I know, I know. Got it. Yeah. Yes, buddy. Yeah. You know how many bites she had? I know, I kept seeing it, then I kept, I saw it still down there. Got him, got him, right at the boat. What do you think, 16 inch? Oh, let him go, let him go. Uh, on that kai kai Woo, it's hot so a few more fish i think and now uh, we're gonna call it a day but we're gonna work some deeper water and somewhere where they are oh yeah there's fish right below us huge fish but they're carp unfortunately that's not what we're looking for so let's see if we can get a few more oh, no. No, Nick. Oh, yes nick good job bud Oh, I got oh. Good job. <laughs> Here, the save. Nice. Get the tape measure. That one will be a keeper for show. How about your uh, well, never mind. Uh, I was I we were Oh, yeah. Just a go Oh, it's a it's a decent little. Whoa! Came out half a little bit. Call Noah's ass. Seven zero. All right, Paul. I got gotcha. you. Wiper. <laughs> Yep. It is okay, sweet. This way. Oh, oh my god. Here you wiper, go. people, wiper. I would help you, but I'm not on that side. Now, Nick, you need to catch one. I gotta give it to you. You know how to figure fish out. You're a master, man. <clears throat> Y'all heard that? <laughs> right at four. All right, guys, there it is. It's time to call it a day. The mosquitoes are getting ridiculous out there and it's getting a little hot, so we gotta get off, get back to camp, prepare that walleye, and enjoy our dinner. So on that note, you guys, thank you for watching this episode. We're going to leave you with some walleye cooking and some sizzle. So take it easy. We'll see you on the next episode.